Welcome to the Hustle Report by Jason Malone, presented by Clicks Media. Welcome to today's podcast episode on covered call option writing for beginning investors. If you're new to the world of investing, options can be a daunting topic, but cover call writing is an excellent way to dip your toe in the water. So what is a cover called option? A cover call is a strategy where an investor sells a call option on an underlying asset they already own. The option contract gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to buy the underlying asset at a set price known as the strike price before the expiration date. When an investor sells a call option, they collect a premium upfront from the buyer. If the underlying asset's price stays below the strike price, the option expires worthless and the seller keeps the premium. However, if the underlying asset's price rises above the strike price, the option buyer can then exercise their right to buy the asset and the seller must sell it at the agreed upon price. All right, now let's discuss how to execute a cover call strategy. Here are the steps. Number one, choose the underlying asset. A good starting point for beginning investors is to choose a blue chip stock that you already are comfortable owning. Number two, determine the strike price. The strike price is the price at which the option buyer can buy the underlying asset. Choose a strike price that's slightly higher than the current market price to receive a higher premium. So for example, if you're looking at a stock where the price is currently trading around $100, maybe you want to write it at 105 or 110, but something that's close to its current trading price. Number three, choose the expiration date. Options contracts have an expiration date after which they become worthless. Choose an expiration date that aligns with your investment goals. Number four, sell the call option. Once you've determined the underlying asset, strike price, and expiration date, you can now sell the call option. You'll receive the premium upfront, deposited directly into your account. Number five, monitor the position. Keep an eye on the price of the underlying asset. If the price rises above the strike price, you may need to sell the asset at the strike price. Number six, repeat the process. Once the option expires or gets exercised, you can repeat the process by selling another call option. Now let's discuss the risk and rewards of covered call writing. The main benefit is that you receive upfront premium income, which can be a source of passive income. Additionally, if the underlying asset's price does not rise above the strike price, you can keep the premium and the underlying asset. However, if the underlying asset's price rises above the strike price, you may need to sell the asset at a lower price than its market value, which could result in missed profits. Additionally, the premium income may not be enough to offset the loss of potential profits if the underlying assets price skyrockets. So in other words, if you're expecting a big move in the stock in the underlying asset, this is probably not a strategy you want to execute on that stock. So why might an investor choose to sell covered call options? One reason is to generate additional income from the premiums received from selling the options. Additionally, selling cover call options can provide some downside protection for the underlying asset as the premium income can help offset any potential losses in the asset's price. Now that we've covered the basics of cover call option writing, let's discuss how much money you need to start with to execute this strategy. The good news is that you can start with a relatively small amount. However, it's important to remember that the size of the position should be in proportion to the size of your overall investment portfolio. As a general rule of thumb, a good starting point for cover call option writing is to allocate around five to 10% of your portfolio to this strategy. For example, if you have a $10,000 portfolio, you might allocate 500 to $1,000 to cover call option writing. Once you've determined the amount of money you want to allocate to cover call option writing, you can start to think about what to do with the additional income that is generated. 
there are several options to consider, including reinvesting the income back into your portfolio, using it to pay down debt, or simply saving it for future use. Reinvesting your income can be an important part of any long-term investment strategy. And this is especially true when it comes to cover call option writing. When you sell cover call options, you receive a premium payment from the buyer. This payment represents income that you can use for any purpose you choose. However, if you're interested in maximizing your returns over the long term, it's generally a good idea to reinvest this income back into your portfolio. Reinvesting your income has several potential benefits. For one thing, it can help to compound your returns over time. By reinvesting your income, you'll be able to purchase additional shares of the underlying asset, which means that you'll be able to generate even more income in the future. Reinvesting your income can also help you stay on track with your investment goals. If your goal is to accumulate wealth over the long term, reinvesting your income can help you to achieve that goal by allowing you to take advantage of the power of compounding. Finally, reinvesting your income can help you to stay disciplined as an investor. When you receive income from selling cover call options, it can be tempting to use that money for other purposes, such as paying your bills or going on vacation. However, by reinvesting your income, you'll be more likely to stay focused on your long-term investment goals and less likely to be swayed by short-term distractions. Of course, there are potential downsides to reinvesting your income as well. For one thing, reinvesting your income can increase your exposure to a particular asset or sector. If that asset or sector experiences a downturn, your portfolio could definitely suffer. Additionally, reinvesting your income can increase the complexity of your investment strategy. If you're not comfortable managing a more complex investment portfolio, it may be best to keep things simple and focus on other investment strategies. Overall, reinvesting your income can be an important part of a long-term investment strategy, especially when it comes to cover call option writing. By compounding your returns and helping you to stay disciplined, reinvesting your income can help you achieve your investment goals over time. Finally, it's important to understand the tax implications of covered call writing. In general, the premium income you receive is taxable as ordinary income. Additionally, if the option is exercised, you may need to pay capital gains tax on the sale of the underlying asset. In conclusion, cover call writing is an excellent strategy for beginning investors looking to dip their toes into the world of options. Remember to choose an underlying asset you're comfortable owning. Determine the strike price and expiration date, sell the call option, and monitor the position. And as always, do your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. By selling call options on underlying assets that you already own, you can generate additional income and potentially reduce risk in your portfolio. Remember to start with a small position and allocate a proportionate amount of your portfolio to this strategy. And when it comes to what to do with the additional income generated, the possibilities are endless. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. This episode was brought to you by Clix Media where we're focused on giving you the tools and information you need to launch and scale your business. At Clix Media, we build websites, we build apps, we help you develop your content strategy, and even help you distribute it for the world to see and learn about your business. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next episode.